Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, I am doing an unboxing today of my new MacBook Air. I just got it today. So the reason I got a new laptop today is because sadly I broke my other one. So this is my old laptop all decked out in stickers. I'm so sad. Now I have to have a new one and I'm gonna have to get all new stickers for it. But when you open it, it looks like this. Obviously those lines are not supposed to be there. So what happened is my desk has a shelving on the top where I keep my printer. And I guess my printer was off balance. It wasn't sitting on there right. And I set my iPad on top of it, which caused it to fall down right onto my laptop. Nothing else broke. My iPad was fine. I had a glass figurine that was on top of it, it fell off and that was fine. But of course my laptop broke. So I went to go see my options today and I've had that laptop for about six years now. It was starting to get slow on me, it was really full and basically to fix it would have been half of the price to just get a new laptop and the new laptops have double the amount of storage. So I figured I might as well not put the money into an old laptop that I already only have like 10 gigabytes of storage left on and just go ahead and upgrade it, get a new one. And yeah, here we are. Honestly, I don't really know how I feel about it yet because I don't really like changing electronics. It's a lot of stuff to move over, but thankfully since my old one is still working, I'm probably not gonna try to transfer too much stuff over because I don't want to clog up the new one. And I guess I'll just be starting fresh with it. So here is the new one. I still got a MacBook Air. And this time it's in rose gold, I guess. They called it gold, but it looks rose gold. It's the only color they have left and I actually got the last one. And I got the Apple Care with it this time because I do something stupid like that again. I will not be able to get another one. <laughs> so I guess let's just get into it and open this baby up. One side note, and I don't fault the guy for this at all. I understand people forget things, whatever but I bought the laptop, purchased it, everything went through, and then the salesman told me, he was like, oh, I completely forgot to tell you that this MacBook, the new one, has completely new ports for everything. Nothing fits into it anymore. USB doesn't fit into it, SD cards don't fit into it, nothing. So I did have to order an adapter for everything else because I need the USBs for my external hard drive for making these videos and I also need the SD card slot to upload all my footage but of course Apple always has to be changing everything so that nothing ever fits and you can't ever use any of your old stuff with it so you can kind of see on here what the ports with this one look like now I guess it's a USB-C but the guy was very helpful and he told me not to waste my money buying it from Apple and to just go on Amazon and get it for like $15 cheaper. The adapter that has all the USB, SD card, everything that you would need right on it. So on Amazon it was like $27 or something. Alright, let's open this box up. So here's the charger and like these are the new ports that it has. This is what it looks like. So it comes with the charger and this charger as well, which again, you can't use the old one if you have one of these because now it's a new port, no longer USB. So that's everything that's in the box, just the charger, of course, the Apple stickers and like the instruction manual and the iPad so let's just get to this take this wrapper off all right I moved to my desk so you can get a better look at it so here is the iPad or iPad 
I don't know if I've said that already in this video. I just got the new iPad as well, so I keep getting it confused. Here's the new MacBook Air. So, I don't know, it's kind of a weird, like, it looks gold sometimes, but then it also looks rose gold. But it's pretty, I like it. It's honestly looks exactly like the other MacBook Air I have. I can grab it and we can compare them. So, here is the old one I have. I got this one in like 2015. And then here is the new one. So, the new one is a bit smaller, you can see. Yeah, it is quite a bit smaller, so that's actually pretty nice. I kind of like that. But yeah, it feels really sleek. It's very light and just a good everyday laptop. The most I do with my laptop is some editing on Premiere Pro for my YouTube videos and then schoolwork. So I don't need anything crazy high tech or super powerful. And the MacBook Air in the past has always worked wonderfully for me. I've had it throughout my whole college career. So yeah, from the outside, I really like it, but let's get to the inside of it and see what's on it. Okay, so looking at it, it does look like there is a headphone jack here. So I guess it has the headphone jack and these little ports, but it's still the old headphone jack. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. So first thing you have to do is get it all set up. So pick your language. Wow, the touch on this is so much nicer. My old one like got something in it and I had to push it really hard, the click. I totally forgot about that until this one. This one's so much smoother. So it has accessibility now. So if you have any preferences for like vision, motor, hearing, and cognitive, you can set those up. I got my Wi-Fi set up. Now it's just about data and privacy. So then it asks you how you want to transfer your information if you have an old backup, which I do. I did a backup for my other one but I'm probably not gonna transfer it. I'm not sure because I don't want everything on there. I just want a few things, so I might just set it all up manually. Also, these buttons are a lot smoother than my last one too, so I don't know if I spilled something on the buttons or if that's just an update they've made. Okay, so then you gotta create a password for your account. And once you do that, it is setting up my account for me. Okay, so I don't entirely know what this means, but basically I guess it's saying it can take my settings from my other like Apple products based on my Apple ID and use them to set up my laptop or I can customize it. So then it allows you to choose if you want insights to your screen time. Honestly, I don't really care. And then it tries to get you to upgrade to the iCloud. This new MacBook Air, the lowest storage capacity you can get is the 256 or something like that. My last one only had 128 and I still had a little bit left, not much, but I definitely don't need to buy more storage on top of that. So I'm not going to upgrade. And of course it asks you if you're sure about that one. So now this is something new too that I've never seen. This is called the File Vault. So you can encrypt your disk and lock everything with a password. Ooh, Touch ID. This is new as well. Okay, so it looks like this little button right here is used for Touch ID. Ooh, I guess I'm setting it up on accident right now. <laughs> Did not mean to do that finger, but I guess we'll keep going. So it's the same thing. You just lift and touch until it decides it wants to go. That's pretty cool though, actually. So then you can also set up Apple Pay on your laptop. I don't really use Apple Pay, so I'm just not gonna do that. And then this is new as well, at least to me. Again, I haven't had a new laptop in like six years. So you can set up if you want it to be on light, dark mode, or auto so it changes. I might do auto actually, that kind of is cool. Ooh, I never use dark mode. <laughs> Okay, and then it also does true tone display. So I guess without it, it's just a little bit more blue and brighter and it's supposed to, if you keep the true tone on, it's supposed to adapt to the lighting of the room. Um, I'm gonna leave that on, that's fine. Ooh, okay, I guess it's all done. So here it is. It looks pretty nice. I actually really like the display. I feel like the display screen, even though it's smaller than my other one, it looks bigger for some reason. I think 
the dock down here no longer takes up as much space and it's also like see-through i don't think the last one was like that on mine so that's really awesome and the screen looks really bright honestly probably just because it's super clean right now there's no fingerprints and dirt on it but it does look very nice i'm actually kind of digging the gold color too i wasn't too sure if i would because i really like the silver and like the classic look of a silver laptop but i'm actually really liking this so here we've got all of these oh this is different the launch pad how that looks So just have like all of these down here, all the apps. I'm sure you can get rid of some of these, which I will definitely get rid of some of these. I, I don't like having this many apps down here. It's just too much. Um, I guess my messages are already coming through. I don't even know how because I haven't set anything up yet, but that's cool. So I'm gonna show you like about the Mac. It's running 11.1 Mac OS and it's 13.3 inch built-in retina and it has 245.11 gigs. It's already got like 30 gigabytes used up just from like the drive and the apps that are on it already. Over here, it shows you your battery life, Wi-Fi of course, the spotlight search. This is new. So this is like the control center like you have on your phone and you can change the brightness right here. You can change your sound here keyboard brightness, put on do not disturb. That's awesome, I really like that a lot. And then Siri, you just click on the date and time. I guess that is where your notifications are now. So here's Safari, so it shows you like what's new. So privacy report, there's built-in translation, customizable start page. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the, my Adobe Creative Cloud and start getting Premiere Pro. All right, took a few tries, but I finally got in. So now I'll open Creative Cloud and download Premiere Pro because this is the editing software that I use. I'm installing Creative Cloud and then I'm going to have Premiere Pro on here. And in the meantime, let's just see like what else there is going on. So I'm just like clicking some buttons and this just came up. So I guess if you click like the FN button, it brings up your emojis. So that's cool. I probably shouldn't just go around pushing buttons, but. So then they also have like F6 now you can use to turn on and off the do not disturb. And it looks like F5, yeah. So F5, you can start dictation with just by pushing that. So that's pretty cool too. And then everything else looks pretty much the same except for these little like bars on the side. I'm honestly not sure. I don't know that much about the Mac yet and especially this one so it'll take me some time but I don't know if this is like speakers possibly. So far everything feels super smooth and just really easy to use and pretty quick as well. And there's one other thing I want to try with this. The guy that sold this to me told me he just bought one and they're supposed to go from sleep to wake in like an instant. And he was saying he opened his and he thought he had somehow like left it on and the screen never shut off because it was that quick that he like didn't even see it coming on. So I'm gonna try that, but I'm gonna wait until this finishes downloading because I don't want to stop the download. And honestly, it's going very fast. It's already at 60%. It's been like two minutes. So that's pretty impressive. Especially after using my old laptop, it was getting so slow. So this is actually very exciting. Honestly, I wasn't sure how to feel about getting a new laptop. It's just such a process transferring all your stuff and setting everything up the way you want it. But I think I'm pretty excited. Okay, so Premiere Pro is already installed. This seriously took four or five minutes to complete and that included downloading Creative Cloud as well. So that's super awesome and it's opening right now. All right, and here we are. It looks like Premiere Pro either has some new things or just because I opened it on a new laptop, it's showing me some new stuff. So there's that, and now let's test out how quick it is to turn on when we open it. Oh, wow, yeah. Before I even had the screen all the way up, it was turned on. I don't know if you could see the light. Let me try it again. 
That's crazy. It's literally on before you can even get the screen open all the way. That's awesome. So that's obviously just a very general, generic overview of the new MacBook Air. But this laptop does seem awesome. I'm really excited about it. It seems just so smooth, easy to use. And so far it seems like it's very fast and I'm most excited to try it out with my exports for my YouTube videos. Usually those take my old laptop hours and hours. Sometimes I'll just leave it going overnight. So it'll be really interesting to see if this speeds up my exports. And I won't have this video up for a while actually because I have other videos that I want to get out first. So I will be able to test out the export speed and even editing with it. So I will put a little update of that in the end of this video as well. It is kind of a bummer that these ports have changed. So just like some little nuances, but that's just how Apple always does it. So whatever. I am so excited about this and just really excited to give it a try. I wish I didn't have to get it because I was not looking to spend that much money right now. And my other laptop, besides being slow, was honestly fine but things happen and I just couldn't really fathom putting in that much money to fix a laptop that is starting to be so outdated now. This should last me a very long time now but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was fun for me. Unboxings are always so fun just feeling the item for the first time and seeing it for the first time. It's so fun. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. All right, here's my update on the Mac with the editing and exporting. So pretty much everything for the editing on Premiere Pro is just the same. And I did export a video. It was kind of a longer video. It was like 16 or 17 minutes. And the whole thing was exported within one to two hours. So that was much, much faster than my other Mac was. So that could be due to the new M1 Apple processing chip, which is supposed to be a lot faster, but also I'm sure it had a lot to do with the storage capacity on my old Mac and how full it was, and this Mac being brand new and having nothing taking up the storage really. But that is exciting that I can now export my videos so much faster. And that way, if I export it and rewatch it and notice that there's something I really don't like, I won't have to hesitate to go back and re-edit it and re-export it because before I really could not do that because I didn't have the time. But now if something like that happens, I can easily go back and fix it and re-export it. So that's really awesome.